If you're keeping up with AI, then you must have heard of predictive or generative AI models. In Salesforce, both of these come to life with the help of Model Builder. They give power to Agent Force and Data Cloud so that your AI agents can do more than just giving generic answers. Let's explore Model Builder in Agent Force. Hello everyone, I'm Shrey Sharma, your Salesforce Hulk. In my last videos on AI in Salesforce, I've explored everything from prompt builder to data library and today we are diving into model builder. If you have missed any video then subscribe to our newsletter from the link in the description and I'll send you the whole series in your inbox along with weekly Salesforce updates and latest videos. So let's dive right in. I know what you're thinking right now. What exactly is this model builder and how can it help me in working with Agent Force? Well, model builder is a tool within Salesforce which lets you build custom AI models to predict an outcome like churn risk, recommend best offers or to generate any type of content like emails. It is particularly useful when you need a personalized model for your business operations. Not everybody needs the same AI, right? So you can create your own AI model tailored to your data, your rules and your goals. Now how is data cloud important here? See, you need your AI to make predictions right. So it will need some data to study, analyze and then predict for you. For example, if you need the model to recommend personalized products to customers, then it will need their browsing and interaction history captured via data cloud. Once you have trained your model, it becomes a valuable source of intelligence that your agent force agent can tap into. So let's look at how you can build your predictive and generative models using model builder through a demo. So we can create a prediction model in Salesforce and use that prediction model in agent force to predict the scores of Salesforce records. I have created a bank account object and added some custom fields in it like transaction details, personal details and account information to train the prediction model. And then we can use it in agent force to predict the dormancy risk score of the bank account. So for this, make sure that your data cloud is enabled in your org and you have at least 400 records to train the model. First, we need to go to the data cloud. Now we need to create a data stream. Select the Salesforce CRM because we are getting data from our own org. Click on next and click on the view object here and I will search for bank account. Check the box here and click on next. Now we need to select the fields that we want to use in our model. I have selected all the custom fields here and then click on next. As you can see, it has created a summary for me. I will click on the deploy button to create the data stream. It will take some time here and I have already created a data mapping here as well. If I click on review, you can see it here. So basically this is the data model I have created bank account see home. Just click save here. Now we need to create our prediction model. So let's move on to Einstein studio. You can see there are two options, prediction model and foundation model. So foundation model is used when you want to add your own LLM. And here you can add various types of models like Azure, OpenAI, Google Vertex, etc. So for now, let's get back to the prediction model. Choose create a model from scratch. Here it is asking me for some data. So I am adding the data model we created before. Click next and now we can set the filter we want. I am choosing all records. Now I am selecting the field for which I want the model to make predictions, which is dormancy risk score. Now you can see it gives two options maximize or minimize the outcome variable. So I am choosing minimize. As we want the minimum value, click on next. Now it has prepared the variables for predictive modeling. These are the fields that will be used for the prediction model. It is automatically set by the system. Click next here. And now it is asking for an algorithm. Algorithm is basically the computational procedure that our model will use to learn from the data. I am choosing automatic selection, click next and you can see the summary of our model here. Click on save and train. It will take 24 hours to train the model and after that you will see the predicted dormancy risk score. It already has some metrics and you can see model training quality, top predicted fields, outcome variation, etc. We can click on activate and then use it in Argent Force. 
you need to create a new topic in the default agent with the name dormancy risk score. I will provide my own description, scope and instructions for this particular topic. Just click on next and no action is needed here. Just click on finish. To add the action here, we will go back, add topic and then action. The action will be predictive model. It has already generated the agent action instructions as well as the inputs and outputs. Add the remaining information and click on show in conversation and click on finish. Let's activate the agent and check whether the agent and the prediction model is working. Go back to the bank account and click on the latest one here. Let's open the default agent and ask it to predict the dormancy risk score for this bank account. So as you can see, the score is generated here. So that was all for the model builder. Now you can build your AI models to power agent force. And if you're looking for someone to help you with implementing agent force in your organization, then you know where to go, right? Syntexa is running an agent force activation program. Check out the link in the description to connect with us. If you found this video helpful, give it a like, share it with someone who might need it and subscribe to Salesforce Hulk for more. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.